Qatar, the region and the world is celebrating 10 years under Qatar's Emir Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani. 10,000 mobile homes used at the FIFA World Cup have been delivered to earthquake victims in Turkey. Does this study prove the Middle East is quickly becoming a more enticing job market? And finally, is Qatar shooting its shot in the world of American basketball? Hi, it's Ali. This is The Roundup. Here are today's top stories. Congratulatory messages from world leaders have been pouring into Emir Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani who has officially marked 10 years of rule here in Qatar. Sheikh Tamim assumed power on the 25th of June 2013 when the father Emir Sheikh Hamad passed on his duties as leader. Since then, Qatar has undergone major transformations, navigating through a tough GCC blockade, becoming a peacekeeper and mediator to many countries at odds, and hosting the first ever Arab and Muslim FIFA World Cup. For more on the decade-long list of achievements, check out our website. 10,000, that is the number of mobile homes that have made their way from Qatar all the way to Turkey. The portable cabins were previously used by visitors who attended the FIFA World Cup in Qatar last year. However, just months later, they were donated to thousands of victims impacted by the tragic earthquakes that struck both Turkey and Syria in February. In a statement, Qatar Fund for Development confirmed the last batch of homes have now been delivered to shelter communities in need. A study using figures from LinkedIn showed that Doha, Dubai, and San Francisco are among the most competitive cities in the world. The study looked at 130 of the biggest cities in the world and tracked how many applicants submitted resumes to job ads on LinkedIn in the first week. The study found that Doha and Dubai outranked every other city by a distance. Interestingly, four of the top five cities were in the Middle East region. And finally, Qatar Investment Authority has reportedly dipped its toes in the world of the NBA with a proposal to buy a minority stake in a parent company of the Washington Wizards. While the Sovereign Wealth Fund has yet to comment on the matter, the NBA confirmed in a statement that Qatar is proposing a 5% stake acquisition. This is expected to be valued at more than 4 billion US dollars. If approved, this would mark the first ever investment by Qatar in US sports. Thank you for joining us. For more of our stories, head over to our website www.dohanews.co. Have a great day.